My name is Miriam Kaba. I'm the founder and director of Project Nia. This session is part of Project Nia's fall series titled Building Your Abolitionist Toolbox. Our goal in the series is to explore six different resources that help us build daily practices to move us closer to a world free of imprisonment, policing, and surveillance. Together, we're learning how we can use abolitionist organizing tools and values in our relationships, our homes, our schools, our organizations, and in our communities. We are considering how we can deepen discussions about justice and harm and healing. And we are diving into active ways that we can work towards an abolition future that includes everyone. During today's session, I'm previewing a new curriculum resource for educators and organizers who are working with young people mostly elementary, I would say through college, to college age, um, to interrupt punishment mindsets. This thing that I've put together really um, kind of tries to get at getting our communities to have more conversations about what we think about punishment, what we think about consequences, how we perceive accountability, Many of us who do um, kind of community accountability and transformative justice work would suggest that there's a difference between punishment and a consequence. And for some people, being banished is a punishment. For others, banishment may be actually a form of kind of a consequence for one action that people have taken that feels like a logical extension of the harm that was particularly caused in their particular context, right? So all of those things, it's, you know, punishment is, it's really hard to um, come up with like an easy way of differentiating all of that. For this purposes of our conversation today, I'm defining punishment um, as inflicting suffering on others in response to an experience of harm, violence, and wrongdoing. I'm a very kind of big believer in the need for consequences for people's actions and a, figuring out a right-sized way of making sure that there are consequences for actions that are harmful to our community or to other people. Because I think it's the only way that we have of being able to have the right boundaries and to create some modicum of safety for people in our communities. If we don't have um, carceral systems, if when those go away, um, we're gonna need ways for people to take accountability for harms that are caused and consequences have to be part of that conversation. There's some background information in the resource for facilitators, um, kind of providing information about the differences between retributive justice and restorative justice and transformative justice, some basic background so that people feel like they can talk with others about it to at least some introductory way. Um, there's a note to facilitators from me that just kind of lifts up um, things to consider specifically, since there's a lot of conversation in this piece about violence and harm, making sure that you have the right um, things in place so that when people go through these particular sessions that they um, have what they need to be able to feel like they can be them, their best selves um, within the space. There are several curriculum units, there are 10 in here. Um, and the list of them is on the screen. And then there's some additional activities and then there's an appendix. So what's in here is connected to why I made this in the first place. For many years, I've been engaged in political education with my various communities. 
And as part of that work, especially uh, with young people, I've developed some activities to explore ideas about safety, harm, and punishment. Many people ask me regularly for resources that they might use in their communities. So I started a few years ago to try to compile some of what I've used. Um, these included activities I've created and then some that were created by others that I liked and thought would lend themselves um, to helping all of us kind of uproot our punishment mindsets. So that's a little bit in terms of um, kind of what is in this particular resource, why I pulled it together, um, what is the kind of framework and that I want you to come into this um, thinking about before we are gonna dive in in the next um, kind of the next tranche of our time. 